going on, people? It's John Boyega, and welcome to my Ebony cover shoot. Let's do this. Ooh, the early men in my life that have shaped me, definitely my father, first and foremost, Mr. Samson at the Boyega. Um, well, I'm the only boy, which means me and my dad have a very interesting uh, relationship. So me and my dad has had a very, very great um, connection. Um, but it's not by what he's told me, to be fair and to be honest, because I always haven't listened to him. It's, it's about how he's acted consistently, regardless of anything. And I've watched him for years and gone like, all right, cool. Before, I didn't feel like I wanted to be like him. But now I'm getting older, I'm 31 now. I'm like, yeah, that's the guy I want to be like. It's my dad, straight up, you know. It's just in your household, you see the example. It is what it is, yeah. I think my heritage has definitely shaped me as a person, as an actor, as a producer, because um, it was the location to go to to find myself. Um, and my dad actually spearheaded that trip once we got to a certain age. I think it was nine, 10 for me. My dad was just like, you're going back to Nigeria um, because the comfort that you're exploring in the West, the, the kind of um, the fast paced lifestyle of technology and comfort that you're, ex you're experiencing in the West, um, it's great for you to go back to another side of who you are and, and, and your heritage is, um, is, is, is essential for that in terms of you growing, learning, um, getting wisdom, getting understanding, you have to go back home. Um, and it was for him, it was also for me to see where our family originated from, Boyega village and, and in Ogun state and where, where we where we come from, the culture, grandma, the brothers, and that just informs you as a person. And I feel like I, I got into acting whole. So when, you know, this advice about don't let Hollywood change you or don't let the thing change you, it's like, that's just always been like to me because, you know, there's certain things about me that just, I, it can't be changed. I've been indoctrinated, indoctrinated you know, through these, these connections, especially to Nigeria, to become this, this man and this person. So yeah, it's been very, very important for who I am right now. Moses from Attack the Block is the first film I ever did. And I think when I was that age, I was quite similar to the character. It's kind of moody, silent a little bit. Um, and I guess the last shot you see of Moses is him smiling at the end of the movie. I mean, that's something they used to say, my teachers used to say, be like, John, you never used to smile, whatever it is. And sometimes you're just a product of your environment or the circumstance you're going through. Um, and I think Moses as a character, by the end of the movie, he's, he learns how to smile. He learns that black boy joy, joy is okay. You know, it's all right to laugh, it's all right to cry. These emotions are real. And for me, you know, I learned a lot about myself through that experience that I had to open up to more exploration of emotion and to be open to expressing that regardless. So. Man like M.O. Moses, you're my guy, man. I think, you know, connecting um, with more um, diverse professionals, and by the way, these are people that are trained for the job, right? And people who have the talent, who have the work ethic. Connecting and finding these people have been a breath of fresh air for me. Do you know what? I wouldn't have stayed in acting if I didn't make those connections. You know, if I didn't you know, meet and connect with Viola Davis, if Gina uh, Prince by the wood didn't, didn't reach out, um, if Joelle Taylor didn't reach out. I've always said that these people have been a lifeline for me to go like, well, how do I get to experience this career the way I used to experience it before the big stuff, which was, you know, to, to, to you know, have banter with people on set, get really engrossed into the art and to be able to relate to the narrative in a way that's just eccentric to you. Um, and I haven't had that chance in a very long time. So these projects that I'm doing now, I've just felt so connected, very much loved on set, and you never have dry skin. There's black women gonna tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> they Clone Tyrone um, is about a trio, an unlikely trio, who come across a mystery that's going on in their neighborhood, and they're kind of tasked with the uh, position to try and figure out what's happening. It's government conspiracy, um, it's weird, it's a world build, it's, you know, um, um, the, the, you know, the, the, the black dynamite type slapsticky feel sometimes, but with, um, with important messaging as well and lessons in there. <laughs> Working with Jamie Foxx was just funny. Funny. He needs to stop. I'm going down to the underground. 
Hope niggas don't drown. And what makes it worse for me is that I'm playing the straight man, you know, the guy that's supposed to be, you know, broody and angry all the time. He's supposed to be the guy. He goes through the most serious scenarios in the film. And then he's got, got Jamie, Jamie Foxx in the background, singing with his gun, doing all sorts of nonsense. So I think it's just the, the fun that he manages to keep on set, the energy, because he is a star. Jamie Foxx is brilliant. He's just a funny guy. It's hard to keep a straight face. Um, I think there's a lot of fun to be had when you're on set with him. And it just showed me that you can get to a certain level with, in this game and still enjoy yourself. You don't have to take yourself too seriously. You don't have to prove that you're the scariest guy or the biggest guy. There's something about Jamie just being humble, um, giving everybody their flowers, praising people for what they've done so far. And you're thinking, man, look at what you've achieved. Why are you noticing the small films I've been in or whatever? But he, he has his um, eyes and ears close to the ground for new, fresh talent. Um, and literally, me being in this film is, is partially because of him and Joel Taylor. Um, so you can see that he's helping my career as well. And uh, so, you know, he's just a great big brother to me, that funny ass guy. <laughs>